All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to cut yourself out as a um, in Adobe Photoshop, save yourself as a PNG, and then bring that into Illustrator. And you might want to cut yourself out if you would like to just do a solid color background, like in these two examples. Uh, let's see. Here's some other examples with a solid kind of cut out background as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and you're going to open up your picture, and then there's a variety of different tools you can use to cut yourself out. Um, and again, I'm over here in Photoshop, so File, Open. I'm going to open myself up in Photoshop. This is not me, but this will work for the demo. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Hurry up, Photoshop. Okay, there we go. We've got our picture open. One, two, three, four. There's some different selection tools. So there's object selection, quick selection, magic wand. Magic wand's probably not gonna work. That's best for stock images where there's like a nice solid black or white background or just selecting pieces of images. Um, quick selection is probably your best bet or the object selection. And object selection is where Photoshop kind of does the work for you. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, less effort route but more waiting around. So that's object selection right here. And I'm just going to hit this little button up here that says select subject and then see if Photoshop can do this for me. It is pretty render intensive, so it might take a minute or two. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Okay, so it looks like Photoshop was able to figure out where my subject was and it's done a pretty good job of cutting out. It's not perfect, but it is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and go up here to the select and mask to make a few refinements and then I'll just really be able to see what is selected. And you know what? That looks pretty good for minimal effort on my part, right? All I had to do was click. So I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to make this to output to new layer with layer mask or you could keep it selection and just say copy paste. I'm going to do new layer with layer mask. And that's going to take just a moment. Okay, and there we go. The um, subject is now cut out with a layer mask. The last thing I'm going to do is you can do, it doesn't really matter. Um, I would do the colored box over in Illustrator, but I'm gonna just going to go ahead and throw a solid color in here so I know how good my selection is. It's kind of hard to see on that checkerboard. So, you know, pick a color, you know, or you figure out what color you might use as your background. Again, I'm just doing this temporarily in Photoshop. I'm not going to keep this color on here. I'm actually going to do that part in Illustrator, but I'm just going to go ahead and touch up. I can already see that like this area got a little bit wonky. So I'm going to go back to my layer mask and I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to get a black brush. I'm going to go 100% for my opacity. I'm going to shrink this down with the brackets on my keyboard and I'm going to make sure that I have the mask selected and then I'm going to paint with black to touch up that area. So if there's anywhere that you need to touch up, you can do that. You can use a soft brush if you want, but I kind of like the cut out look. Like I want this to almost look like I cut this out with scissors. I'm actually going to clean this up right here, but I'm not, I don't have a very steady hand to do this by hand. So I'm going to use shift on my keyboard. I'm just going to shift click and that's going to make straight lines. Let me show you what I mean. See how it makes straight lines if you do shift click. I'm going to hit undo, undo, undo. And I'm just going to kind of go along this edge and shift click, shift click. I'm just making straight lines, kind of like I was cutting this out with scissors. And I'm just holding shift and clicking. It's giving me like a nice straight line. All right, and then over here, it looks like I need to touch up a little bit here. I'll go ahead and shrink my brush. And then manually do this portion. So on and so forth. And you know, you can take your time. You have your tablets, so you can, whoopsies. You can get really um, precise with your selections. You can really go back in and hand color things nicely. I'm just gonna touch up this last little bit right here. Shrink that down. There we go. 
All right, and I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my uh, green layer. I was only using that temporarily just to kind of see what I had selected. Again, just because it's very hard to see when you have the checkerboard. And then I'm gonna say File, Save a Copy. I'm gonna go ahead and choose PNG. PNG, and I need to do PNG, not JPEG. We always do JPEG, but we're doing PNG in this case because there's transparency. So I will go ahead and save this. Maybe I'll write transparent. There's a little box that's gonna come up. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm ready to hop over to Illustrator. All right, over here in Illustrator, I'm gonna open up. Remember, you always want to work in a new document, a fresh document, because it will have all your swatches. Did I hit open? Yes. So I'm gonna open my picture of my person. I'm actually gonna copy and paste them into a new document. So I'm gonna say new file. I'm gonna go ahead and go print. I like working in inches, so I'm gonna change that to inches. You know what, I'm gonna do an eight by 12. It's kind of like a more of a postery size. And I'm gonna call this my doodle portrait. Create. So again, you've seen I've, I've made a new document. Now I'm gonna open up my person, file open. Find where that's saved. There we are. This is the PNG, and then I'm going to copy, and then I'm gonna paste it. Control V is paste. It's really, really big. It's high res, which is great, but it's too big for my artboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold shift, and I'm gonna shrink that down. And you can decide, you know, do you want it a little larger? I'm gonna go ahead and shrink it. You can decide how much you wanna shrink it. I think I'm gonna go like so. I think that'll give me some nice space for doodling. So I'm gonna go ahead and go there and then I'm gonna lock this layer because I don't want her to move around. I'm gonna lock that layer. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna go ahead and do my background color. I'm just gonna grab a rectangle, you know, choose whatever color you want. Maybe I'll do a green. I'm gonna go ahead and draw myself a box. You can get really picky and make it exactly the size of your artboard. It doesn't really matter if it's the exact size because when you export everything outside of the artboard, you can cut it off, but we'll make it exact size. And then I'm gonna take that layer, drag it below, and then I'm also going to lock this layer. All right, and then I'm gonna to go to the top layer, created a new layer, and this is going to be my drawing doodle later. Doodle layer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and one, two, three, four, five. This is my, on my doodle layer. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my paintbrush and I'm gonna set my fill to nothing. I will put my color, you know, whatever color you want. I'm just gonna do white for this. I'm just gonna use the basic brush for now. I'm gonna zoom in and then I'm going to start my, oops, doodling. Oh, my tablet doesn't seem to be plugged in. Here we go, it looks like it's working now. Um, so I can go ahead and start doing some doodles. And this line is a little bit too thick for me, so two things I could do. I could either change it down manually, okay, like so. Um, or I can go back and not worry about it, select this, and then afterwards go ahead and make that thinner as well. So either works. Um, remember, you can always change your brush style afterwards, after the fact. Um, and then don't forget, you can also double click. And this is where you're going to get your smoothing options. So if you want to really smooth it, you can do like so. And it will really smooth things. Oopsie, let me show you with the other brush. It will really smooth things out for you. Oh somehow got back on that brush again. There we go. Okay, so, ugh, come on. Not cooperating today. There we go.
or I can double click and I can go more towards the accurate side. Okay, so you can play with this if your lines are not coming out as expected, accurate versus smoothing. And again, you get just get to that by double clicking. All right.